Hey guys, Cabo Gary back. This is a truck I built before YouTube. It was a Top Kick 6500 with a cat in it. Uh, with me and my buddy tore it all the way down to the frame. And uh, from there, we sandblasted the frame and cleaned it all up, painted everything. Uh, everything was in good shape mechanically when I bought the truck. At first, it was gonna have those military tires on it. I decided that it was just too big. That's my buddy, is 6'2". That cab came from a 99 uh truck I bought the cab off of. And as you can see, it's massive. Started building a frame for the bed to mount onto. Um, and then I put a 37 gallon fuel cell under it with uh, a frame to hold it. I had to shorten the bed a little, or the frame a little bit. And uh, I took an axle out of a Freightliner FLD to go under it. And I think that frame system came out pretty nice. Um, I was really happy with how that worked. There's a picture of that FLD axle under it with the air ride. And yeah, that's a sharp looking setup there in my opinion. And there, well, first time I was really drivable after I cut it all apart. And uh, I was pretty happy with how everything lined up. That's my kid, and I started this when he was born. Engage cluster that I built for it. Uh, and then I changed the whole interior color to black in the truck. Did some black accents on it. Short bed with uh, those fiberglass fenders I found. And uh, here I started working on the interior more. As you can see, it all came out good. I wanted a double din radio in it, so I started cutting the dash up and ended up making this, grafting that in there, and then I used some textured paint to even it all out, and uh, mounted the radio in there. came out really nice, really solid mounted. Put a grenade on for a shifter, of course. Those are the gauges lit up at night. And uh, my buddy came out to see me. That's a Mega Cab 2500. Truck's getting closer. Time for paint. So I sanded it all down, primed it, and then I went with this color that Summit has. It's a very bright metallic green. And uh, that was a lot of work painting that truck. And uh, I was really happy with how it came out. It was a sharp looking truck in my mind. You know how I like green. That's one of the first times it made it to the street. Compact Suburban there, so you can see the size of the truck. It was massive. This truck made it, this picture made it into a magazine. And then uh, I was coming back from a tractor pool I went to and broke a yoke, took out the air brakes. Also knocked all the synchros out of the heat and transmission that was in it. That was my kid. He used to love to ride in this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just something I built before YouTube that I thought I'd share.